Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining me here at Midwest Woodcraft. Today we're going to continue on with our series on knots, hitches, and bends with the bowling knot. Now the bowling knot is widely used in the climbing and mountaineering, canyoneering, search and rescue, and nautical areas. And it's a very, very important knot for us to know as well. It's very strong, very reliable. In fact, if, it, if you're using the proper cordage and it's tied correctly, the rope will retain two-thirds of its original tensile strength. Um, it's very easy to untie once it's been put under a heavy load. So if you're uh, looking for a real good, secure, solid knot, the bowl one's a pretty good one to know, guys. We'll get set up, and I'll be back with you here in just a minute. Okay, guys, so there's this cute little rhyme they use to teach the kids the bowl, and I really can't remember what it is, but it pertains to a rabbit, his rabbit hole, and a tree. So the static end here where my thumb's moving, that's the tree. That's the end that's going to be attached at the other end. And then we have our working end here. The tip of our working end is going to be our rabbit. So we're going to bring that working end here. We're going to bring it over the top at the static end. That's going to make our rabbit hole. Leave your rabbit hole small. That's a tip my good buddy Bart gave me last weekend. I was kind of getting confused because I was leaving my rabbit hole here big. And when I was coming around for the second step, I was getting confused. He said, keep that rabbit hole small and you won't get confused as easy. So what we do is we have our rabbit, like I said, he's the tip of your working end here. The rabbit's going to come up out of his rabbit hole. He's going to go around behind the tree. He's going to come out from the left side. Leave yourself some tag here. And then he's going to go right back down his hole where he came from. And keep these two strands here parallel. You can see this strand and this strand. Keep those two strands parallel. When you pull them down and tighten it all up, you can see that gives you the bowling. And if you leave yourself enough tag here, you can secure this down with another knot, like a half hitch or something, like a stop knot to keep it from going anywhere because it is kind of prone to slippage and spillage if it's kind of turned sideways. So that just gives you a little bit of extra protection, especially if you're using it in a situation where you're lifting something heavy or lifting somebody up out of a hole or something. I really appreciate you guys coming along with me on my short video covering the bowling knot. As always, if you like what you see here, click like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below. We always love hearing what you have to say. Get out there and practice some of these guys. If you don't keep them fresh in your mind, you tend to forget them a little bit. I know some of them are very easy and uh, hard to forget, but some of these get a little bit more complicated. If you don't use them, you lose them. As always, guys, thanks for watching Midwest Woodcraft. Hope to see you in the woods real soon.